Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at right now should be fairly interesting, and I have to hurry because my battery is uh, pretty close to being dead. What you're looking at right now is the built-in web browser, but also the Android app for Threads, as well as the Android app for TikTok running on my MetaQuest 3. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do this. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to fire up the Quest Store, and you're gonna come up here to the search bar, and you're gonna search for Mobile VR Station. Type that in exactly as it is written. It is an App Lab app, which you will see available through App Lab there, which means you have to type it in exactly. Install that application, and then from there, duh, you're going to start that application. And this is what's going to allow us to sideload these apps. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways, okay? So you could either fire up your web browser and go to some place like APK Mirror and download APKs yourself, or you could do what I've done, and I've downloaded the APK Pure APK, and I'm going to show you how to install that, or that's basically what I have installed. What that is, if you don't know, it's a third-party app store, and it will just allow you to stop using this program. You can basically just install your apps through that app store, and that's going to simplify things a little bit. So from here, once you've got the APK you want to install on your device, again, you've either done this by going to the web browser and downloading it yourself, or you've plugged your Quest into your computer and drug it into your downloads folder. That's just a good place to put it. You're gonna come down here to Configuration Wizard, then to Show All Options. You're then gonna go to Configure Scoped Storage, and then do request access. I know this makes very little sense, but this is what we're doing. From here, click on where it says Quest 3. Let's drag this back a little bit because that's gonna take you to the root of your Quest 3's uh, storage. Click on download because that's where you put your file and then you should be able to click on not just the app, but actually on this little expand thing. For some reason, the app, if you click there, that doesn't do anything, so click there and this is what you should see. Your phone and personal data are vulnerable. I don't care. We'll click on install again. A thing may pop up there that asks you to give this program permission to install things. Tick that box, go back, and then do it again. And you should be able to, at that point, open up this application. And this is an ad before APK Pure actually runs. It's fine. I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to allow that one though. Let's close that. And what we have here, is an app store, right? So we can go into the store, we can go into, uh, let's go to ranking and then apps, and you will see all of these things that can be installed. Let's just go ahead and install Instagram so I can show you how that works in real time. It's gonna download that APK, which is like an EXE file on a Windows computer, something like that perhaps you're familiar with. And once it's done, it's gonna pop up. Here's the pop-up you might have seen earlier, allow from this source. We're gonna go back. It's going to ask me if I want to install. Click on install, and we should be done here in just a moment. And from there, it's going to be in this area here, unknown sources. So let's go ahead and fire Instagram up. And actually, let's um, let's close this program because I do not need it. And we'll go back into Instagram. And there we go, we have logged in, and you can see I'm following Forrest Galante. There is Instagram running just fine. I don't know why the keyboard is wanting to stick around there, but it is. Let's get rid of that and let's see if... Uh... All right, so there you go, the keyboard is gone now, and you can jump over here. Let's fire up threads. Let's actually drag it over, and then we'll bring Instagram back up. And then let's drag Instagram over there, and then let's fire up TikTok. I mean, how cool is that? All of your Android apps, not all of them, right? Some apps require Google Play services, so that's not going to work, but a lot of apps are going to work just fine like this. Augment your experience here with these Android apps. This is very, very cool. Now, it's not completely perfect, right? So there are a couple of limitations. So any application that needs the Google Play services that's not going to work. So a lot of apps by Google, well, most apps by Google, that's just not gonna function. So you're gonna have to kind of pick and choose apps with regard to that, but there are also some other problems. So I tried to install the Sling TV app, and as you can see, it just did not format correctly. It would have been cool if it had of, you know, stretched itself out, made itself into like the tablet UI, but it did not do that. And then once you go into a channel, 
it is very, very small and there's no way to expand it. Likewise, the Disney Plus app did not work really well at all. It was kind of glitched out a little bit and it actually was just see-through for me. Now, that might have been because I was recording my screen because when you're recording stuff in the web browser, it's going to look see-through. But like it was like really glitching out for me and I couldn't actually see the video. You're probably better suited not using those media apps and just using the website for them. As you can see, again, it's see-through, but trust me, there was a video playing for me. I could see it just fine. It's just in the recording. That stuff does not show up, I think probably because of hardware acceleration. But again, not all apps are going to work, but a lot of apps are going to work quite well. And I can see myself having a big screen playing a video and I've got threads over here or TikTok over here or whatever it might be. There are definitely some apps that are going to make sense in this sort of use. So guys, hopefully this was useful. If you have any additional tips to smooth out this process, you can drop them in the comments down below, but this was the quickest method I have found to do this. So that's what I have uh, given you guys today. So subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.